The Adventures of Jungle Jim, broadcast weekly over this station, are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and the 6 million youngsters who enjoy the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists, featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Pursued in the night through the jungle, Jungle Jim and faithful Kolu have sought to hide in a big tree in a clearing. But they've been tracked down by native hunters led by Doc Beard, who, although our friends can't prove it yet, is actually J-7, leader of the gang of desperados who plan to sabotage the Panama Canal. Now as Jim and Kolu crouch hidden in the thick foliage, J-7 stands in the jungle on the edge of the clearing and plans the attack. Pedro. See, master. Have your men surrounded that tree from all sides as I ordered? See, master. And the Indians have their poisoned arrows ready? See, see, master. Good. There's plenty of high grass growing in the clearing. You can use that for cover. See, master. Tell them to crawl through the grass on their stomach tree. Give them orders to shoot at the first movement in that tree. See, master. This time we'll get our elusive friend, Jungle Jim Bradley. Can't escape from us now. Pedro. Si. Give the signal for your men to close in on the tree. See, si, master. What's the matter, Colo? Colo feel much bad. Oh, no wonder. That was some tussle you had with that python down there on the ground. Yes, Juan. You saved Colo's life for you. But big snake, not what worry Colo now. Listen, Juan. I don't hear anything, Colo. Colo got ears like hawk. Colo hear noise. Colo think they come for us now. And they got us surrounded, all right, Colo. What we do now, Juan? I don't know. If only this tree were near the jungle. Maybe we jump down from tree and run. Hide in jungle. Uh, that fill us full of poison arrows before we got two steps away, Colo. Besides, you're in no condition to run right now. Juan can run. Uh, Tuan's not going to run off and leave you behind, Colo. You hear, Tuan? That could be the signal to close in on us, Colo. Yes, Tuan. Tuan. They come now. Keep still, Colo. Don't move. No noise now. But, Tuan, look. Man crawling through grass. See? Wait till he gets nearer. But, Tuan, he shoot us with poison arrow. He can't shoot us if he can't see us. Here. Help me uncoil this real quick. Yes, Tuan. When he gets a little closer, I'll fix his wagon. What you do, Tuan? I'll lasso him. Now, here goes. <coughs> Give me a hand, Cole. Come on. Haul him up to the tree, quick. Yes, Tuan. That's it. More. Come on. Yeah, that's fine. Now, cock him, Cole. Good. Oh, boy, he's out cold. He'll be dead. He's so good. Fine. Prop him up between those two branches. Yes, Tuan. Kolo <laughs> think nobody see Tuan Lasso Indian. So much the better. Oh, there's another one. Huh? Crawling up on the other side of the tree. You catch him, Tuan. Just watch me. <laughs> All right, Kolo, come on, give me a hand. We'll haul him up in the tree, too. Yes, Tuan. That's it. Come on. Come on. Now, the same medicine, Colo. There. Well, that's two of them. Now what do we do, Tuan? I don't know. We have to wait here till we think of something better to do. We know can last to all Indians and bring up in the tree. Tree not big enough, Tuan. Oh, more men come. Look, with bows and poison arrows. Colo, I got a scheme. Listen. Here's me. Meanwhile, J-7's half-breeds and cutthroats crawl closer and closer to the tree in which Jungle Jim and Kolu have hidden. When the circle of men is drawn tight around the tree, each with his bow drawn back, ready to let fly their deadly poisoned arrows, J-7 turns to Pedro in the jungle on the edge of the clearing. Pedro. You must, uh, give the order to shoot. But, 
Master, what will they shoot? They cannot see anything. Leaves are too thick. There are 30 Indians circling that tree, Pedro. If they all shoot at once, they can't miss. At least one of those 30 arrows is bound to hit Jungle Jim. And it only takes one poisoned arrow to kill a man. Tell them to shoot. See, Master. Yanka! Dick! Look! Look, Master! Two men, four from three, like dead birds. Good. That's the end of that Superman jungle, Jim. But, Master, why two men fall? Who else was in three? Who? Uh, some follower of his. Anyway, it doesn't matter, Pedro. They're both dead now. Come on, I want to have one last look at Jungle Jim before the Indians cut him into pieces. Come on. What's the matter, you fools? You ought to be celebrating. The great white gringo is dead. Now you can see what kind of god he is. Why, he's... All right, what's this? Neither one of these men is Jungle Jim. Master, yes. Master, we kill our fathers. We kill our fathers. Master, these dead men are our own Indians, not Jungle Jim. Where is he? Where's Jungle Jim? He god. He fly away through air. Disappear. Rubbish. He must still be up in that tree. Nobody can live through that barrage of poisoned arrows. Pedro, see, Master. Climb up into that tree and bring him down. Master. Climb up and bring him down. He must, uh... Now, you men. You men down here, stand ready to shoot. He might still be alive. He must have... Pedro! Pedro, do you see him yet? No, master. No see big white gringo. He not in three, he disappeared. But that's impossible. He couldn't have got away. Where could he go? This tree's out here in the clearing all by itself. Well, don't stand around jabbering, you fools. Do something. Look for his tracks. Find him. Benito, tell your men to search for his tracks. See, sí, master. What's the matter with the Mindoro? Why are your men coming back? Excuse, please, master. They say, no tracks, no sign of white jungle guard. Oh, no. you stupid fools. You blundering idiots. You let him get away again. No. You'll pay for this, Minito. But, Master. I'll flog you to death for this. No. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I'll break this whip on your rotten carcass. Uh, let him get away from me, would you? Don't, uh, oh, please, Master. 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 What is it, Pedro? Master. Yes? Up in three. I find rope. Tied to branch. A rope? See, si, see, si, a rope goes long way to tree and jungle. Come, come, see, si, Master. The big tree over there. Yes. So that's how he got away. Quick, Pedro. Over to that tree. Si, There'll master. be tracks there. We'll follow them. He can't have gone far. Quick, quick, hurry, you good for nothing brown dogs. Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> While J-7 and his cutthroat gang pick up their trail, Jim and Kolu make their way through the matted jungle, anxious to keep their slight lead. Meanwhile, back in Doc Beard's heavily guarded plantation house, Kitty St. John tosses restlessly in her sleep. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Who is it? Who's there? All right, you see. This Kolu. Oh, oh, Kolu. You see that Kolu in through window, please. All right. Just a minute. Oh, oh, Kolu. Thank heaven you're back and safe. Kolu, go out by window. 
Kolo come back by window. Nobody see Kolo. And Jim, did you meet him in the jungle? Is he, is he all right? Yes, Missy. One Jim, oh, he all okay. Oh, oh, Kolo, thank goodness for that. I tell Tuan Jim, you all right, too. Did you warn him about Doc Beard and his gang of natives? Oh, Colo, did you... Did you get to him before they did, Colo? Yes, Missy. But then they catch up with us. Oh. We hide in three. They come all around three. But one Jim, he throw rope over to another three. And we get out into jungle, okay. Oh, thank heaven. But where is he now? Tuan Jim, he say he stay in jungle. He send me back with note. A note? Oh, let's see it. Here is note, a little package. But Tuan Jim say note must go to Colonel Barrett right away, quick. You take little package, too. He say, tell Missy St. John, get note to Colonel Barrett some way quick. But, Colo, how? The entire plantation is guarded day and night. I even have an Indian on guard outside my room... They watch me every minute. How can I get away? Oh, do not know, Missy. But Juan Jim, he say note and package must go Colonel Barrett right away quick. He say you must do same. He count on you, Missy. Note very important. Jim's counting on me. I'll have to get that note and package to Colonel Barrett some way. But how? If I can only figure out some way of doing it. I've just got to. <laughs> Will Kitty be able to escape from Doc Beard's plantation with the mysterious package and the secret note Jim has written? How can she? Upon this little scrap of paper depends whether or not the intelligence department can foil the mysterious plotters who are determined to wreck the Panama Canal. Don't miss the next exciting episode of The Adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement, containing the best full-color adventure and comic strips. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land like the all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Jiggs and Maggie and the Little King and the immortal Donald Duck, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at this same time next week over this station. Be sure to tune in.